Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Video Boy, and welcome to LibGDX Tutorial Part 7. So, in Part 6, we added the ship movement and um, the animations also, uh, but now we're going to add the border so the ship can't go out of bounds like this. Doesn't really make sense that it can. And we're also going to add the rolling if we have time. We'll see if we can actually finish it, it's a bit long. Uh, also, I'd just like to warn you guys ahead of time, uh, the beginning of the video I've recorded it like three times now, and I accidentally stopped the recording every single time because <laughs> uh, I had my hotkeys wrong for my recording software. So whenever I press Control S to save, it would stop the video recording. And uh, yeah, I've redone the beginning so many times, so I might be a little bit bored or something, uh, just to warn you. And also, I'd like to mention I got a new computer. Uh, it's custom built, so I shouldn't have any crashes anymore or anything like that. Uh, that should be all done away with, and it'll be a lot faster too to uh, run the game, uh, much faster actually. So we won't have to wait for it to uh, to load up and build the project all the time. All right, so first thing I want to do, I find it's super slow the ship, so we're gonna set the speed to 300 uh, pixels per second. So now it moves a lot faster. It's a lot more like an arcade game. It's actually still a little bit slow. If you think about when the ships are coming and stuff real fast, you want to be able to shoot it. Uh, we can always adjust that later. Okay, so first thing I wanted to add um, was loading the uh, the other animation frames. So we have our animation here. Uh, so right now, roll is set to 2, and we're just adding uh, the roll one, so we're just adding the main one because we're going to set uh, when roll is two, it's just the basic one. I'll explain in detail a little bit after. Uh, we'll just write two instead, just make the next part a little bit easier. Okay, so now we're going to initialize each one. So, how it's going to work when roll is two, it's going to be in the center. So, think of this as the center point. When it goes here, it's tilted a little bit to the left, and when it goes all the way up here, it's tilted a little bit to the right. When it's tilted a little bit here, it's tilted a little bit to the uh, right. Sorry, I think I said left here. It's all the way to the left. Here it's tilted a little bit to the right, and here it's all the way to the right. So think when roll is 2 at center, 0 is all the way left, uh, 4 is all the way right. So this uh, gets the row of the image. So for center, we're getting the first row. It's this one, so that makes sense, right? It's not tilted. Tilted a little bit left. Uh, it's that one. One tilted all the way left. Two. And then tilted a little bit right. It's index three, uh, row three. Because remember, counting zero, one, two, three, four. Uh, that's just how arrays work and uh, indexing and all that. All right. So let's just uh, write a little comment here so you understand it. No tilt. All right. So when it starts off, it's going to be centered at two. So try to remember that. Okay. So there's nothing really that's going to change now in the game, but. I'll run it just like explain to you guys how uh, the collision works. Uh, so how it works, when you draw the image, you draw it from here, right? This is the zero zero of the image, and then that's uh, width and height of the image. So you draw it from there. So to check if it goes out of bounds on this side, all you need to do is check if X goes out of bounds. Just set it back into bounds. Well, that's basic, right? But if it goes to the other side, uh, it's a little bit more complicated because if we just did, if X goes out of bounds here, uh, then the ship would have one pixel like this, kind of, <laughs> I guess. I can't really get a pixel perfect. It's a little fast. Um, but yeah, yeah, it would be exactly like this. There you go, one pixel. Um, so you want to calculate in the width also of the ship. So if 
the x of the ship plus the width goes out of bounds, then push it back into bounds like that. All right, so let's add the left one first because that's very simple. If x is less than zero, so if it goes out of bounds, you can set it to zero. So this is when the left key is pressed. So let's add that. So now it's added. This side it won't work yet, but this one will. So very basic. And the other side is a little more complicated, but not that much really if you think about it. So if x plus the ship width, oops, if you do control space you can get, um, it'll tell you variable names faster that are already in your code. So if it's more, then get width. So if it goes more than the width of the screen, so the x coordinate plus the um, the ship width goes more than uh, uh, the 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 screen size, the screen width. Then we set the x to the screen size. Oops. Uh, minus the ship size. All right. So now that should work. So when it goes out of bounds, when the ship x plus its width goes more, it pushes it back. Okay. Um, okay, so let's add the rolling. So the rolling is simple enough. Uh, it's a little bit more complicated. I'm going to add a very basic version of it first. And then perhaps in the next episode we can do something a little more complicated like we'd actually want for the final game. Uh, but I'll just add the basic version of it, uh, just to start out. Alright, so first things first, well, let's just close this, we don't need that anymore. So let's create a constant. It's always good to make constants for these kinds of things. Make it a float since it's going to be a, a time measured in seconds. Uh, so we'll call it roll timer switch time. By the way, if I'm adding kind of abstract numbers, it's because I already tested it, so I'm picking numbers that I, I think are good. Uh, you know. So it might seem kind of random that I'm picking that number, but uh, I tested it before and it seems like it would be a good number for the game. Uh, basically, what this is, it's how much time uh, it takes between each time it uh, rolls. So this is in seconds, so it's 0.15 seconds. So every 0.15 seconds that you're moving left, it's going to sit, switch to um, the next roll. Um, so yeah, it'll, it'll tilt more and more. So after 0.3 seconds of going right, it's going to be all the way right. It might seem very fast, but when you actually look at it visually, it's slower than, it think, than you would think. Um, okay. So what we need to do is we need to update the roll. So when the person's moving left, oh wait, yeah, first we need to make a roll timer. I forgot about that. So another float, a roll timer. So this will keep track of the timer. So this is how much time it takes, and this is the actual timer to keep track of it. So we'll just initialize it to zero. All right, so it's very basic. Um, so basically, update the roll. So when it's going left, we're going to make the timer uh, go back into negative numbers um, because like it works here, roll starts at two, and when it's going left, it goes down, right? But when it goes right, it goes up the number. So we're going to do kind of the same thing for this. Uh, so we'll do roll timer minus equals. So it's uh, minus equaling the number we're going to specify now. So gdx dot graphics dot get delta time. So every every frame it's going to subtract the delta time. So really it's going to calculate how many seconds 
um, that it's been going in that direction, which is left in this case. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to now check if the roll timer tells us that um, it's already been 0.15 seconds and we need to switch to the next roll uh, frame. So to do that, if roll timer is less than a negative roll So if roll timer becomes less than uh, the negative, actually make it a little bit simpler just so uh, it's easier to wrap your mind around it. Okay, so this is going to get the absolute value of roll timer. So it's going to be a negative number because we're subtracting from it. So this will get a positive. So just say after 0.1 second, um, it'll be negative 0.1 because we're subtracting. But it'll get 0.1. And then it's going to check. If 0.1 is more than 0.15, do this. Otherwise, just skip it. But if it is more than 0.15, it'll switch to the next animation. So first, we need to reset roll timer after this is done because we need to wait another 1.5 uh, seconds until we do the next roll and then roll minus minus because we're going left right you start two and then minus minus to the switch to the next one and kind of like for this we need to make sure that roll doesn't go too far so we don't want it to be less than zero so if roll is less than zero roll is equal to zero. Okay, so this is pretty good. Here we can actually test it. So now we should be able to roll left. See, you see that? It rolled left, but now it doesn't roll right, so we need to add that. It's almost the exact same code. You can actually just copy paste this, really, and then just modify it so that it works with the left, I mean right instead of subtracting the delta time we're adding so this way if you're holding both left and right it'll balance out perfectly and you're gonna end up staying at the same same uh, tilt of your ship the same roll okay uh, we can actually keep that this way so if the roll timer uh, becomes more than uh, the the roll uh, time then we switch the roll so again we reset it uh, instead of minus minus we do plus plus and then here we need to make sure that it doesn't go more than four or else we're going to get an out of bounds error so if roll is more than four roll is equal to four so we run that play there you go as you can see it kind of sticks so we're going to change that. We'll do that in a later video. I already have the code set up for this so that once it's tilted like that and you stop moving, it automatically goes back to center. It looks a lot more natural. Uh, but that's enough for this video. I talked a lot about stuff. Uh, and you guys need a little bit of time to understand exactly how this works. If you guys need a little bit more help understanding how everything works here, if you have questions, please leave them in the comments. So yeah, I'll end that video, this video off today. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, next episode should be next week like usual. And the devlogs are usually going to be on Wednesdays from now on. Uh, so stay tuned for that. And please leave a like if you liked it. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.